Hi scholars, today we have our week three decodable. We're going to continue practicing long vowel sounds and their spellings and also continue learning and reading more about forces and motion. So let's get started. Let's read the title. T I M time to tug. So when you're tugging, you're pulling, and that is a force to make things go in motion. Now, in this book, I told you we're going to continue learning and reviewing our long vowel sounds. In this book, it's going to be the long I. I like ice. I like tie. And I like pie. And there are two high frequency words that are going to be used in this book. What is this high frequency word? Put. And the next high frequency word? Want. Yes, like I want ice cream, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's read the title again. Time to tug. Your turn. Great. Okay. Oh, I see a lot of consonant, vowel, consonant, E spellings where I have to use the long vowel sound. So it will not be A. It will be A. Dale and Jane want a ride. Your turn. It is time to tug. Your turn. Great. So what are they tugging or pulling up the mountain? A sled. Mm -hmm. Pile on top, kids. Your turn. Take a fine ride. Your turn. Great. So I want us to highlight all of the words that have the consonant, vowel, consonant, E spelling, which tells us to use the long I or long E or long A or O sounds. So the long vowel sounds. So let me get a highlighter. And I want us to highlight all the words that have that spelling pattern, like this word. Dale. What's this word? Jane. Here's another long vowel sound. What's that word? Ride. What's that word? Time. So if you see all of these words end with the special letter E, what does the special letter E tell the vowel? Say your name, say your name. Yeah, and so that's why we use A, Dale. A, Jane. I, ride. I, time. Oh, there's more. Wow, there's a lot of long vowel sounds in this text. Okay, so we use I, pile. A, take. I, fine. And the last one on this page, I ride. Mm, great job, scholars. Let's keep reading. So before we read, let's highlight those words that have the long vowel sounds. So when we get to them, we already know how to read them. 
Okay, so all of these words have the consonant, vowel, consonant, E spelling. And the letter E tells the vowel, say your name, say your name. Okay, so here is I, time. I, mic. I, wire. I, mic. I, tire. Great job. So let's read it now. The van cannot go. Your turn. It is time to tug. Your turn. Why can't the van go? Oh, I see in the photograph that the tire exploded. They have a flat tire. Mike can put on a wire. Your turn. Mike can fix the tire. Your turn. Oh, so Mike is going to fix the tire. And then they can go wherever they were going. Before we read it, let's highlight those words that have a long vowel sound. And these words have the consonant, vowel, consonant, E spelling. Like, I kite. I dive. I line. A Jane. I kite. I rise. I kite. I fine. Great. So now that we went over those spelling patterns, now we can read it. Look at the kite dive. Your turn. Tug on the line, Jane. Your turn. So what are they doing outside? They're flying a kite. Now, what force is causing the kite to move and fly in the sky? Can you think about what force is doing that? If you said the wind, you're absolutely right. The wind is pushing and pulling that kite in the sky. Without the force of the wind, the kite wouldn't be able to fly. Let's keep reading. The kite can rise. Your turn. The kite is fine. Your turn. Yeah, it's fine. It didn't break. Oh, I see one word with that spelling. Let's highlight it. So... We know how to read it. Okay. I, time, time. It is time to tug. Your turn. See what can tug. Your turn. Now, what are some things or vehicles or individuals that are tugging or pulling things in these pictures. Look at this photograph. What is pulling or tugging on the big ship? The tugboat. I see the tugboat is tied with a rope and it's tugging and pulling the ship. What is tugging and pulling in this photograph? Kids. The kids are pulling.
pulling and tugging each other to see who wins tug of war. And last, what is tugging and pulling in this photograph? The little car. Mm -hmm. So there's a little car here and it's tugging the airplane. So it will cause it to move and park in the right place. Good. So let's read these words with the uh, long I sound. Dive. Put a f. Fine. Put a k. Kite. And what's this word? Line. Good. Let's keep reading. What's this word? Mike. What's this word? Pile. Ride. Rise. Time. Tire. And wire. Great job reading today, scholars. So if you want today, practice reading Wire. these long I words. You can pause it and read them for me. Um, or go back, take off my sound and read the book on your own. Well, I hope you're having a lovely day. Make sure you eat healthy and wash your hands. See you later, scholars.